Good afternoon from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I am in the carpool lane again. I got the second spot. So let's see how that works out. Looks like, you know, it looks like first, you know, apparently just can't touch the person in the first one. It, because this person's in it for the long run. But, but anyway, uh, so I got the second one. But, but I just wanted to, it seemed like I had an experience, um, had an experience at the bow. You know, um, I was um, ordering a little chicken. And I guess, I, I think, you know, I'm trying to think. Well, I not think I ordered that just steak biscuit, but but at any rate, um, and you know, and they had to cook my steak biscuit. You know, it took a little while for them to, you know, they just didn't have it available. Well, so you know, so I had to wait. No problem. But then there was, I guess there was somebody a few steps down, a, a lady, um, and this lady. For whatever reason, just felt a need um, to be very visible, you know, and very um, open about her discontent about, you know, the order I guess they feel for her. And I, I don't know all of the details, you know, and you know, and ultimately it isn't any of my business, you know, and, and obviously, um, you, you know, if you pay for something, you, you certainly want to get it. And I, I'm not sure exactly what it was about, but um, but then it started to get really interesting because once again she had to be loud about it. Um, she then proceeded to choose which fries um, she she wanted. It's like, well, I want all of my fries hot and da 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 da. And then she kind of like, you know, kind of like sauntered side to side choosing you know what type of food you know uh, to be honest with you it appeared to hold up some of the orders because you know the lady was you know um, you know choosing you know what she wanted what she didn't want um, and you know even as I was getting me finally got my food you know the lady was still being adamant I mean she was on these people for it could have been anywhere between five to ten minutes just on them and um and, and you know on the one hand you're like well you know the person should get what she ordered you know um but you know i also was thinking you know how would i feel about that because i've been on the other side of that you know i've been where that poor fellow was where that lady was giving him the business and um uh, you know you know i remember i was at a place in I was working at an establishment um, pretty close to South um, DeKalb Mall, you know, in DeKalb County, Georgia, and um, and we had one lady for whatever reason, she would smile for a little while until she ordered her food, and then she would put her face, if you will, to the you know, and I was cooking on the grill, and she would put her face at the receiving window, you know, and I was thinking to myself, well, is is it worth this type of, you know, <laughs> you know, if this is going to stress you out this much, but you know, I was thinking, man, you know what? I mean, I felt hurried and, um, you know, in some ways I, I did feel a little, I mean, I understand that these, you know, folks want their food, you know, the way they ordered it, but sometimes I felt like, you know, hurried, disrespected, you know, um, you know, why would somebody go to these um, kind of links, you know, um, also to me, you know, so that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't go about doing what they did. Um, but also I'm thinking how much did I pay for this food? You know, if I'm paying $6, you know, for, I don't know, a, a dark piece, um, chicken meal, you know, one, keep in mind that the food isn't going to look like on the picture all the time or if it ever does and two you know seems like to me that if you're paying this kind of um, you know if you're paying you know fairly low fares um i'm not saying that you should necessarily lower your expectations per se but 
you know, this isn't a filet mignon, you know, filet mignon or anything, right? This isn't bananas foster. <laughs> you know, this, you know, this isn't uh, Ruth Chris, right? <laughs> you know, um, certainly to me, you know, I'm not expecting to be sauntering around um, trying to, you know, pick, you know, out the perfect fries, given, you know, the, you know, the amount of money that the food costs, or, you know, you're really getting, in some ways, um, a bargain. Um, and it also seems to me that I shouldn't be holding up, um, you know, traffic because I'm, you know, I want to now, you know, and, and this person, and you know, your order, you know, they may have had a mistake in your order, but it seems like to me that, you know, then you're kind of taking advantage of the situation to then, you know, throw your weight around about, you know, what type of food. I didn't say anything to this lady because one, it just, well, I mean, I was talking about it right now, but, <laughs> but, 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 you know, and, and, you know, it really wasn't any of my business per se. And I understand that you should get what you ordered, but it, it does seem to me that, you know, I've seen way too much of this, you know, where people, you know, person picking out the fries, you know, the perfect piece of lettuce, you know, um, you know, you know, these types of things, um, and not understanding that they are in a fast food establishment, you know, and, you know, and, and you know, I, I just personally would think that if I was going to do that, it just seems like I would be running over people, and I don't want to run over people, you know, um, you know, you're not going to get everything perfectly, in my opinion, anyway, that's all I got. Take care, folks, and goodbye.